Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. Good morning, good morning. It's J.D. Nija. Coming to you from Huntington Beach Pier. World famous Huntington Beach, California, Surf City. Waves, three to four foot. Wind out of the west at eight knots. Air temperature, 56. Water temperature, 58. Under cloudy skies. Welcome, welcome, J.D. Nija. What a weird winter. Usually by now we have some hot days. It's a couple days into April and it's still like this. <laughs> like this, kind of cold. Anyhow, um, all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, the only Son of God, Jesus Christ, Jesus Jesus Christos, Yeshua, Yahshua, Solomon, Adam, Josiah. The same spirit coming back again and again and again to complete the story through the Holy Spirit, the word of truth, the Bible, the unbroken, unfettered, un solicited <laughs> uncorrupted word and story of the existence of mankind under his creator Yahweh oh boy that's a mouthful um, welcome new subscribers Margaret and I saw another uh, one of the brothers subscribe thank you for being here this is um Bible study with Jeff Deloach, J.D. Nyjah, Word of Truth. Thanks for being here. Um, we have a lot to talk about every day. Um, most of it's about the Bible, but sometimes some things come across my desk, as you might say, that um, I need to address um, just because they're compelling and have possible... Check out these birds. This is where we're at, people. <laughs> Doesn't that look creepy? They're fucking circling. So, um, something happened in the Matrix yesterday. I don't know what it was, but... Um, let me turn this around so I can get into the Bible. <clears throat> Good morning, good morning. Sorry I look a little rough. Couldn't go to sleep last night, and I am a sleeping son of a gun, so um, I, it took me quite a while to fall asleep. I was, my spirit was, maybe it's because what I heard on um, a channel that I listened to. This gal has been a, some of you might not, this might trigger you, don't let it trigger you, just stick with me a minute. Um... <laughs> Because some people are really triggered by it and they go, ah, I'm not listening to that. But as time's gone on, as as we um as we've rushed from 2016 to now, let me pray real quick. Heavenly Father, bless this message and the ears that hear it. Bless me as I speak. Let my words be understood and the thoughts that are coming through me be your thoughts, your will, your power to you through your son, Jesus Christ, who's receiving us, listening to us, consulting us, counseling us, and directing us on your path back to you to reconcile us back to you in love and unity through the Holy Spirit in this Bible. Amen. So this, I'm going to just try and just speak it to you. Don't get, try not to get triggered by this stuff because I'm just <clears throat> putting out some things that are in the, the public realm that um, I've been looking at a lot of other people have been looking at um, and we know in these days that reality is this matrix, this reality is turning into a quite a clown show quite a 
it, it just did nothing make sense anymore it's like what the hell are they doing to us so what this channel is it's called changing matrix and this gal has been talking about get ready for it the mandela the mandela effect most of you know what the mandela effect is don't let it trigger you and run off um, it's the theory that somehow things are changing before our very eyes. Um, some of the um, triggers for me were, were um, sex in the city versus sex and the city. I always thought it was sex and the city. The, the truth is it's sex in the city. Some of the other Mandela effects, the ones that triggered me were... Um, um, the movie with Tom Cruise, um, interview with a vampire, or interview with the vampire. I always thought it was interview with a vampire. Comes to find out, it's the movie's called Interview with the Vampire. Um, the Star Wars, I, I'm just going to go through a few of them. If you don't know the Mandela Effect... Go back and look it up and um, pull up. There's hundreds of videos on it. It's not as in the news as it used to be. It used to be something that we all were staring at going, is this true? But it could be just memories. We're not remembering things right. Um, certain words like in and and and, and these things can, I mean, sex in the city, sex in the city, sex in the city, sex in the city, sex, sex over the city, sex, you know, um, build it and he will come. Build it and they will come. The the movie. So some of these things are things that could have been just our memories don't remember them right. But the one that um, came up last night, and if you watch this video, and I'm I'm tripping a little bit on it too because um what the gal did. There's one in the Bible, a Mandela effect. So some of this might actually be. Um, one of the ones that sticks in your mind of like, wow, I remember it that way too. So we remember in, some people remember in Isaiah 11, 6, Isaiah 11, 6. Um, and the lamb also shall dwell or lie down with the, li the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and the little child shall lead them. Um, and so she, what she did is she put together all these clips of preachers, pastors, different people speaking this particular line. And the lamb will lay down with the lion and the lamb will lay down different people, different sermons. And she, she ran through them twice. So it probably didn't need to do that for most of us. It's like. If 10 or 12 or so many people um, have said it, and I mean, this is one for me too. I'm like, I could have swore because we used to sing the song, um, the, the Lion and the Lamb. And the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb. I forgot how it goes, but um, that was the, the lyrics. And um, when this one came out, I... I like, I looked and I went, the wolf, the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb or lay down with the lamb or dwell with the lamb. And so I, after I watched the video last night, I looked through Google to see if Google had any place in the Bible that actually said the lion will lay down with the lamb. I couldn't find it. I'm like, it's got to say it somewhere in there. Otherwise, why would we be saying it? Why would we be thinking it? Why, 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 why? So that being said, I couldn't find it. <laughs> I mean, I, I looked kind of hard, but um, something in my spirit said, damn Bible never said that. <laughs> what? So we have this memory of the lion and the lamb, the la lion lying down with the lamb. So 
So that's the jumping off point. I'm going to try and do this so that you can understand what I'm what I'm saying. So in her video, and this is the key point, she's talking about how in this day, these end days, these end times that we're in, that there's going to be so many weird deceptions. And so we see with this chat GPT and um, this these filters and the ability to visually manipulate video and photographs, manipulate video and photographs to a point where um, they could take this video that you're watching right now and make me into Sleepy Joe and Sleepy all of a sudden Sleepy Joe's talking about the Mandela effect and the lion and the lamb, you know, it'd be like all you'd see sleep. You'd actually see Joe Biden get, doing this lesson in my truck, right? So that alone, I've I've talked I've talked about it a little bit in the last few weeks. How um, this could be the part of this whole B system, this abomination that causes desolation. Um, it's a it's basically in my mind when it says desolation, it's desolate. There's nothing, there's nothing to see. There's nothing to hear. There's nothing to believe because you can't. And so this Mandela effect, this is a little bit different because did the words in the Bible actually change? Could that have happened? Could it have actually used to say the lion shall also dwell with the lamb? And now it says the wolf. Could it, could things actually, could the Lord actually be changing things for his his glory and then we have <clears throat> this devil is trying to do the same things and he's 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 got more control of the power of this air right he's the prince of the power of the air and so the i guess what the point i'm getting at is what the heck are we going to believe and i've been talking about this for a probably a year now who are these people who are these preachers pastors black hebrew israelites um everyone's popping out of the popping out of everywhere claiming to know the bible and so what this gal i, I don't know her name she's an interesting person but she doesn't show her face this time which is just a little bit odd to me i wish she would have at least put her face on there for a minute and said i made a video I'm going to play it now for you because these are the things now we can't trust anything. Was she, a, was she a show the whole time? Is she actually dead? And they took her channel and they're playing with it. With this chat GPT and this fucking manipulation of video and audio and, and photographs, what the heck are... How, so, um, what are we going to believe? So in her video, she brought up a lot of these issues. The Negroes are claiming to be the Jews now. They're being deceived by God and they're being something that they did. Maybe they are Israel. <clears throat> Maybe they are Israel. <clears throat> Maybe they know they're Israel and they're believing these things because God put that on their heart to believe that. And uh, Matthias has said that, but he's Matthias um, what is it? Omega 2021 channel. He said the same thing. He's like, these corner boys are deceived. They're deceived by the Lord. The Lord did that to them on purpose because they were the wicked niggas that put Jesus on the Christ on the cross. Sorry. Put, put the Christ on the Christ, put the cruise in the cross, put Christ on the cross. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I, when they first came out, I, I thought they were, I thought they were telling the truth about that, that they are, they are somehow of Israel. And in my spirit, something tells me they're, they're of, they're of 
Jacob. And I've, I've latched onto that. I, I've always felt that. I've always felt a kinship to the Negro people. Uh, my name, Deloach, if you look at the name Deloach, there's lots of Negroes. So I don't know if it, my, <laughs> my forefathers were slave owners or if I'm in the regeneration from, um, from a Negro or how that happened. But like, 40 or 50 percent of the people with my name are Negroes so whenever you hear me say nigga it's not because I'm racist it's because that word doesn't hold any any hard feelings for me it's just it is what it is a, a nigga is somebody that is l manipulative lazy um, what is it selfish selfish is is a part of it rebellious um, hard hearted, hard, hard headed. So that, so that makes me think that they're, they're telling the truth. They're Israel because that's what basically, if you read the Bible, if you know anything about the Bible, that's who the Israelites were, a bunch of niggas, a bunch of manipulators, a bunch of lazy, selfish, self-interested, egotistical. That's, that's who they were. And I'm going to get into a scripture in, about that. Cause I, I opened, I was opening to Isaiah. I thought it was a different chapter where this wolf and the lamb issue comes up. So she talked about that. She talked about um, the deception that we're all going to be. Uh, this place is going to, that's why we're seeing so many crazy versions of the Bible and people are just like saying whatever they want to say. You know, I, I'm, I try and stay as close as I can to the, to the, I get my, keep my, cards close to my chest because I don't want to get <clears throat> plagues from adding on or <clears throat> get blotted out of the book for taking away or whatever it says in Revelation. We know it's not good to add on or take away from the word, right? <clears throat> so, lock you. so, that being said, by the way, you're blessed if you're here. And she said that too. She said there's going to be the 144,000, the people that have my mindset. I don't really care about the rapture or the tribulation. It's all been tribulation for this spirit. I mean, um, it's also in my spirit to, to use the world but not abuse it. So I've had a good time here. And I don't have a lot of regret or shame or guilt because I already know. Who I am. It's like, yeah, I've taken enough hits that <laughs> the Lord knows that I deserve some fun. Is the way the way we that's the way we know it. And so I, so what she said about the one forty four is that there's people like me that are going to actually have the. I think I have the word of truth. I I I claim it. I've claimed it for a couple years now. Word of truth. I'm not trying to deceive. I'm not. I'm actually. And there's a couple brothers of mine that I trust that are in this spirit too. And it's not easy for us either because even the elect would be deceived. Even the if it wasn't for the spirit that's in us, we would be deceived also. This place is getting ready to get. And these people that say, oh, there's no tribulation. There's no, they're so deceived that they don't even know they're deceived. And that's where this 144,000 elect of every nation we're scattered to every nation because we have to preach the word to every nation the the book of revelation says that it has to go out to everyone everyone has to have the chance there's probably chinamen over there japanese over here Chile, chileans brazilians wherever you're at there's someone going word of truth Jesus Christ is the Savior. Hello. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Lights are on. Nobody's home. So the we're the ones that were sent down here. We're cast down. It's not no fun job. It's, it's like for the wickedness that we did in our past, we have to be these ones that are like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Lord, are you? I'm honored. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I'm honored. But, so she said that also, 
And so when I, when I hear the thing she says, it's just like anything else. There's a, just enough truth and things that ring true that you're like, I told her, man, you hit on every point. She hit on the, the deception of the, the Negroes. She hit on the 144 being the few, the proud, the ones that are going to be spitting out the truth against all form of lies and deception. So I hope you're enjoying this video because I'm doing a pretty decent job of what I'm trying to say. And I hope you understand what I'm saying. And so I'm going to move forward now. There, you, you need to watch the video yourself. Changing Matrix. I think it's capital C, capital M, one word. Sorry I didn't write that down. Maybe when I come back I'll, uh, I'll write that down. It should pop up. Changing Matrix. It has a green... It has a green... Um, channel subscription little button or whatever you call them so what's interesting to me about this lion and the lamb let me see how much time i got uh, let's go back well yeah just stay here a minute and then when i come back we'll go we'll go back and look at that scripture that i found so the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb so this, what's interesting for me on this one is these black Hebrew Israelites, and some of you know what I'm talking about, and some of you don't, but I'll, I'll try and hit it real quick. They believe they're Judah. They believe they're Judah. They're the Jews. They're the real Jews. They're the real Jews from Judah. Judah. And, and Judah isn't just Judah. It's Judah and Benjamin. We see that at the beginning. Saul was the first king. Of Benjamin David was the second king and then Solomon followed David so we had this strange mix of Judah and Benjamin and the Levites they stayed in the temple they stayed around Jerusalem they were all of this certain tribal family they they stuck together like glue and so what these black Hebrew Israelites are doing which is interesting about this verse that changed they don't like Benjamin they talk down on Saul all the time. That is one of their main talking points. If they don't throw in the house of Saul is going off, the house of Saul is the wicked, the house of Saul. If they don't throw that in somewhere in their video, it's just the day is not complete. And it's wrong. It's, 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 I'm Benjamin. And I know that's so wrong. I, I, I know it in my spirit. The Lord told me I was Benjamin coming up on 25 years in a couple years. It'll be 25 years since the Lord told me you're one of mine. You're a Benjamin of Judah. And that started a whole reality. That's been hard to face ever since. Then a few years ago, he said, you're Adonijah. So th these are the things that I, I qualify myself all the time because I, the Lord doesn't want me to just walk through here and go, well, I'm, I'm kind of a Bible teacher and I've kind of heard some things from the Lord over the years. And no, I'm going to tell you what he told me. And so I looked up Adonijah and he's not, he's not the happiest guy in the Bible. He's not the best dude. So that's how I know it's true. It's like, oh, wow. Cool. Son of David. Wicked son of David. So anyway, the point I'm trying to make here, let me see what I got. Wow, got through that pretty quick. So if you understood what I'm saying, you've probably heard me say it before. And some of you probably are starting to believe it because what will happen and what I see happening is I'm getting subscribers. People are starting to finally go, that don't make sense. That don't make sense. That makes sense. But some reason I don't trust them. No, no, no. Who's this funny guy? Who's this funny surfer guy in the truck? Uh-oh. <laughs> it takes a lot to be here. The people, the truth, the truth is evil spoken of, people. And I mean, I even myself, I don't know if I'm deceived. I don't know. All I know is I'm gonna go with this what the spirit's telling me. So the you could probably tell because I don't I don't try and push anything down your throat. I'm not, you know, right? Okay. Anyone that's that's coming off too, like too much, like they know, 
or, or not enough that they know. They're either playing dumb and they're deceiving you or they're playing like they're the, the expert. And all I know is I'm a son of David and I'm here to do a job and I'm prostrating myself before my heavenly father. I'm falling down on my face to honor and worship him for whoever will hear. So I'm going to be back. We'll talk about this wolf that dwells with the lamb, not the lion, the wolf. All right. J.D. Nigel, word of truth. Thanks for being here. New subscribers, Margaret, brother, brother. I've, I, it was funny because your name, I went, oh, wow. He has a name like something else, but thanks for being here. I'm glad you're here. Um, keep coming back. There's, there's things that we talk about that are fun, things that we talk about that are not so fun, but the truth is um, the truth, and it will set you free in the end. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. I'll be back.